Hey folks, welcome aboard once again. Andy Kimball here. Uh, we're going to spend uh, oh maybe just a few minutes um, as per your request again. I, I've gotten these uh, emails and comments regarding, hey, can you please uh, explain and go over some of the finger picking styles that you use in your shows and recordings and on these videos. Um, and I'm going to break a few of them kind of down to their essential elements, um, which uh, is pretty basic but important. Um, the finger picking styles and techniques and strumming and combinations thereof that I use evolve on their own. There's no particular rhyme or reason. They kind of the songs kind of take a life of their own. They uh, they evolve and they go, and I just you know hang in there and stay with it the best I can. Um, but basically, most of the finger picking styles that I use are evolved and come from the basic foundations of the Travis style finger picking. That's some of the styles that uh, you hear some of uh, Lightning Hopkins and, and some of the blues players uh, back in the day kind of just really, you know, capture the, the basic elements of the blues in terms of the delivery of the rhythm of the blues through their picking styles. And that's what I'm going to kind of go over with you now. Um, the most important element of, of finger picking aside from the picking itself, which means we're striking strings individually instead of strumming them, is being able to do it with a sense of rhythm and a sense of delivery of that rhythm, not just counting to four, one, two, three, four, but delivering that to you, you know, the listener, or to me if you're playing it for me. And um, so really, you know, as, as trivial as it might sound, the most important element of, of delivering a song in a finger style manner is the rhythm and the mood of the song or the piece and how that evolves and how that it develops. And when you see different types of complexities and styles and techniques and fast notes, is it really the notes and the styles that are so wow? Or is it the fact that that rhythm and what, how they work within the rhythm of the song to accentuate the song and lift a certain part of that tune up and capture you and, and that's where you find that, oh wow, that's really cool. Is it really the fact that the, the finger work on the fret and the fingerboard is so complex and amazing? Well, sometimes it's more complex, of course it is. There's more complex guitar pieces than not, of course we know that. But, but basically, even those complex parts um, what makes it work is not the fact that you're playing this really neat complex chord or progression, but it's the delivery of the rhythm, whether it's a syncopated or off-sync or whatever it is, whatever that rhythm might be, a 4-4 four, four or a waltz or anything else, any combination thereof. Um, it's that delivery that makes it work. All right? So that's, that's what we really need to focus on when you're starting to learn, develop, and improve upon your finger-picking technique, whether you're an advanced player or you're just starting out day one. All right, sense of rhythm, counting to four in a four-four tune, which a basic song of four-four, um, is so important. And, and it's not something you really learn. You know, here I am showing you that hey, you got to really know how to count to four. It's something that you that you begin to feel when you're playing music, and you've got to zone in and key in on what you're really doing when you're playing. Am I just strumming the guitar, or am I am I trying to mean something when I play the guitar? I want it to mean something to others when I play the guitar, or the piano, or the saxophone, wherever it might be. Okay, um, getting back to what we're supposed to be doing, <laughs> which is that finger picking style. Um, but I just want to let you know that that the, the central of the finger picking style, or even if you're strumming, is is being able to do so consistently. Even if the rhythm changes in the song, it's still consistent. Okay, so we're going to use a typical blues uh, one two three four one two three four E A B seven to kick this video off, um, and um, e, e chord, A chord, 2nd fret, 3 fingers in a row, B string, G string, D string, the B7 chord, 1st fret, index finger, D string, and then on the 2nd fret, A string, 2nd fret, G string, 2nd fret, E string, right, we're on the, every other one on down 2nd fret, okay, your B7. I'd also like to be able to do with the B7, take this third finger and put it on the bass, rotate back and forth, and so you get, watch.
captions of it. No, don't get me started. Okay, um, let's uh, count to four together, all right? Whether you use finger picks or not. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, no chords. Slow it down. One, two, three, four, one. Speed it up. Slow it down. Start to feel a little bit, right? Now we're going to drive it. Watch how we drive it. I'm going to change what I do. I'm still counting the four. All right? Watch this. Now I'm going to incorporate a chord. Okay? E chord. Watch. Now I'm going to start to rotate my thumb from the E string to the D string. Watch this. I think I'm about Johnny Cash in the brain. I shouldn't have said that before. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. It's starting to sound a little fancy, but I'm not doing anything. I really am not. Watch. One, two, three, four. Index finger here, right? Hammer on. Third finger here. Open string. Let's incorporate the chord again. I just want to lift the chord so you can see what I'm actually doing within the chord. Okay, watch. Put my pinky finger on the second fret of the B string and take advantage of this, that sixth sound and watch how I do that. A little Texas kind of sound. If I want to make a seventh, watch. Different effects. I'm gonna close it. Three, four, one, two. Now I'm gonna open it. Watch. Start to drive a little bit, right? Styles, which is what we're discussing here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, rotating. That's all I'm doing. That is honest to God, all I'm doing. Now let's have some fun with the E chord. Let's have some fun. We're not going to leave the E chord. This is a D7, right? Remember D7 chord, right? D7. So if I move it up one whole step, folks, where do I land? I land on a, good for you, you got it, that's right, land on an E, okay. That's a, okay, real tough one there, huh? All right, D to the E, and watch what I do with the E chord, watch this. Thumb. Stop doing one, two, three, four since I started this video. I haven't, have I? But I can have a lot of fun and do things with the chords. It kind of has a complexity and a feeling and a groove. I'm just making it up as I go along. Really, that's all I'm doing. Um, but whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm making up as I go along, it has that, that kind of snap, a little beat. You can, I can hear lyric lines and melodies starting to evolve. Whatever I wanted to do with it, take it and do something on your own. 
and uh, a good Google exercise to get that the comfort with those double stops here is to uh, go like this. Practice this. Watch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then this. One, two, open, open E. Watch this. Two strikes of the notes. Play with the E. If you learned an F chord, I did learn it this one. It's very, 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 very little. Uh, I just remember how much it hurt. A little boy, a little bar and stuff. So really what we've done is we've taken that basic, essential, little beginning F chord and just kept this note and this note. And here's my F chord now. Here's my G chord. Here's my A, my B, C. And then my E. A, E. We incorporate it like this. A. I said I do with the minor. Okay, A. I can't drive that one, two, three, four enough because really there's so much you can do within that. And I'm just using that. You could do a waltz if you wanted to, or a six eight, or you know something jazzy, or sync a pick, you know whatever. You're, there's so much you can do, and uh, with so many different chord formations and structures and shapes, um, varying the, the technique you use to pick it is cool and great and adds diversity to the song. And uh, and it should and and a feeling and flavor to the song. So um, work on the work on the timing. Work on that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right. After the A, so who goes the E? Now we went to the A. E. Remember the B seven I told you at the beginning of the video. Actually, even though it sounds like it's a lot of notes, I'm really not striking the string with these two fingers much. I'm just letting the, the, the notes carry over, let them kind of live their own life, if you will.
two, three, four. I'm getting tired of hearing myself say that. I hope that you've learned uh, a little bit about that. Basically, this finger, this is all I'm doing. Okay, so practice that. Practice that with the E, practice it with the A. Here, right? Use your thumb on that A note on the sixth string, so you can go like this. And matter of fact, on the B, back to the A, then E. fun with that folks uh, and I'll do some more uh, you need to um, focus on the one two three fourness of what the technique is about and then we'll do some more with some different chords and different uh, melodic styles and uh, different tunings but uh, in order to do that and to be successful when I mean successful I mean your ability to technically play I've seen a lot of technical we've seen a lot of really good technical players certainly more technically oriented than I am no question but the key is the delivery and feel of the music. Keeping, keeping it flowing, keeping it smooth. Even if it's songs that have pauses and breaks and changing in timing, we all, we've seen them. Um, it's consistent, it's powerful, you feel it. And, and that's what we want to deliver by, by that sense of timing. Don't worry about the complexity of how difficult things seem or appear to be or how difficult they are to play. Play something easy and flowing. Here's that E, I guess this video is not over yet. Here's the E in the E minor, watch. A, A minor. B7. E minor. sometime soon. AndyKimball.com is the website. The latest recording is Blues in the House. That's a collection in, uh, of various live recordings, and some of which were kind of uh, edited and so forth in the studio, but still fun. Um, and, uh, you know, songs I've been doing for 20 some odd years in his career. And um, get, go, uh, download it. You know, go take a listen. And um, when you hear it, now you know kind of what I'm doing throughout that whole recording uh, in terms of the finger picking style and the songs. All right, have fun with this, folks. I hope to spend some more time with you soon. You take care and look forward to your comments. Uh, please like this video, check out my other videos, and um, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. I'm out for now. Take care. Thanks for watching.